Differential diagnosis of trigger finger. Lumbricle plus finger. When the patient tries to flex the fingers, the involved digit will be extended. P and P, paradoxical plus. Sagittal band injury can give you triggering. In sagittal band injury, the snapping occurs due to subluxation and relocation of the extensor tendon. And you need to diagnose this condition to avoid unnecessary surgery of trigger finger release. The snapping and subluxation of the tendon is noticed at the top of the knuckle when moving from extension to flexion. The typical scenario is the patient is unable to actively extend the finger from a fully flexed position, but the finger can be maintained in place once it is passively extended. In both conditions, usually the long finger is affected. In joint contracture, the patient may have a history of trauma. The patient will be unable to actively or passively extend the finger. Flexor tenosynovitis, the four positive canaveral signs. Fusiform is swelling of the finger, flex posture of the finger, tenderness along the sheath of the finger, Inability to actively extend the finger with intense pain when attempting to straighten the finger. Flexor digitorum profundus avulsion. The avuls tendon ends can retract proximally and may become entrapped at the level of the PIP joint, causing flexion contracture of the PIP joint. With posterior interosseous nerve syndrome, there will be lack of extension of the fingers, and the finger may have a flexed posture. Tenodesis is present with nerve injury, but not with tendon rupture. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.